Good afternoon. Um, could you share with me some of your experiences on water cooperation? Yes, I can. Um, today I'm the project leader for World Water Day, but in my previous function I was what's called the civil representative of the task force Uruzgan. The Netherlands had troops in southern Afghanistan. There, of course, we came across much conflict and much damage of the civil war. And one of those was in the field of water. Quite often, uh, the water uh, damage, or the water was so limited in that area that it caused conflict. Because, you, as you can imagine, if you have all the water and I have none, but both of us have weapons, then we might fight over this water. We also found out that a lot of water was lost because the water canals had not been maintained during the Civil War. We then used civil, or, or actually Dutch taxpayers' money, uh, 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 um, development money, sorry, uh, to fix those water canals. Suddenly the water loss was much, much less. There was enough water for both of us, for both of the tribes, and the tribes stopped fighting. So I think that's an excellent example of where cooperation, if sponsored from an outside party like the Netherlands, uh, that water cooperation can actually lead to peace. That's a really uh, interesting experience. Is, is this some of the stories you've been sharing here today? And what else have you been hearing here today on water cooperation? And, uh this is one of the stories, of course. Uh, water cooperation is being discussed in this venue, uh, how much impact it has on economic benefits, the impact it has on poverty reduction, but also impacts on the environment and on peace. On peace, I just gave an example. On uh, water cooperation's impact on economic benefits, the same example actually applies. Immediately when the fighting stopped in that area uh, where we uh, uh, promoted water cooperation. The economic benefits became very apparent because the tribes that used to fight with each other now started to trade. The same is true for uh, uh, the environmental consequences. When all of that water is lost because of conflict, uh, obviously that's very bad for the environment. The erosion uh, problems were enormous in that area. Okay, thank you so much for this uh, interesting example. You're welcome.